Hey there guys, Skibby here from Skibby Six Gaming coming to you from Random World with an extreme mountain biome because we are going to be talking about llamas today. Matter of fact, we're going to do 10 facts about llamas again. It will be loosely put and uh, it'll be roughly 10. I think it's 10 actually, but uh, we're not going to number them off or anything like that. I know that they're a new feature in TU54 and there's a lot more to them than uh, meets the eye. So I think what we're going to do is play with them for a bit. I'm going to give you all the facts I know about llamas and uh, yeah, you should be pretty excited about it as am I. So, uh, let's go so first things first we're going to talk about this so they spawn in extreme hills biomes um there is four different colors of llamas that said i feel like where well, let's go over here and grab another llama egg because they are really weird because i noticed that if you spawn them like right here no wolves are scared of llamas <laughs> see get me out of here that's another little known fact uh, hopefully they don't start spitting. I wasn't gonna tell you that one until after, but let's go over here. So, I noticed that they were mostly white, but I guess that's just a thing. So, Extreme Hills Biomes, guys, they spawn. There are four different colors. White, sandy, brown, and gray. Those are the four different colors of llamas. They also are known to spawn in groups. Uh, that's a pretty interesting fact. They're always gonna try to spawn in groups. I noticed that about a lot of different things in Minecraft actually uh, You know what we're gonna do for this one here 404 likes if you're one of the first 404 people to like the video Let me know in the comments and you could be like Grant Grant was 19 notification squad and yeah uh, Subscribe Ryan Navy Ethan and Carlos. So uh, yeah, I had to get that out I almost forgot to do it and we don't want to do that. Look at that wolf. He's scared. He's like, I'm out of here <laughs> He's trying to get the chicken, but he's scared of that llama and you notice we'll go over to that one after so Let's go back to the llama game here Llamas get tamed just like horses or donkeys or anything like that You just get on them and they jump you off and you're gonna keep doing that until uh, you get some love uh, And we'll keep going Where'd he go? Oh, he's running away. Don't run away, Mr. Llama. I'm going to make you mine. Oh, and I tamed them. So, now that we've done this, you're going to see something. Uh, which one is he? So, if you want to go into his input... I think I got the wrong one here. What's going on? Okay, so what we're going to do right here is... Oh my gosh, this Extreme Hills Biomes is blocking me. I think we lost our Llama, actually. Oh, so this one's tamed. So let's go. They do not listen in the same way as, say, a donkey or a horse. So what we want to do is, first things first, you can always dress up your llama. And you can always put chess on your llama. So let's go over here before he leaves. And put a chest on him so everybody thinks oh you know you could put a chest on a llama how cool is that well the one thing you're gonna have to realize about a llama is they don't work like donkeys in the same way their chest actually gets a random number just like the hearts that a horse gets or anything like that uh, the chest will be any random number between 3 and 15 so as you can see this is a good llama it has nine uh, nine boxes so you could get them with as little as three or you could get them with up to 15 slots for the chest in addition to this what we can do is he's gonna keep moving but I'm just gonna go through it is you can easily equip a llama with some sort of garb by simply uh, dressing him with a carpet and each carpet has an assigned different lot so let's go over here I'm gonna show you all the different ones let's go ahead and put gray in there and we have a cool looking llama right there let's go ahead and put light gray in there looks pretty cool I think it's pretty sharp white not bad looking I think it's pretty good we got yellow interesting the yellow ones not bad orange looks pretty cool brizown to the brizown I like this one that one's pretty sharp uh, red not bad at all. Perps. No, where did he go? He's gone, eh? Let's go. Remember, we're at perps. Oh, here he Oh, that's the good one, too. So let's go. We're back on perps. Let's get pink or magenta. 
Look sharp. Pink. Not bad. Not too overly pink. Green. I think he looks pretty sharp. Dark green. Creeper stylings. Cyan. Not bad. Light blue. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Blue. Not bad. It looks like he has headphones on. I think that one looks cool. And black. Even black isn't that black. It kind of looks purpley. So there you go. We got all those ones. So let's keep going. Since we got our cool llama somewhere around here all dressed up and ready to go. The other thing is llamas will not work in the same way. So watch this. I'm going to go and. I'm going to go and show you right now. Where did our llama even go? So, when you do this... See, llamas don't work in the same way as mules. You cannot ride them like that. You can ride it if you wanted to. Like, if we got rid of this guy and wanted to ride it. But, you cannot control the way it goes as much. However, the one better thing that you can do is... By simply controlling one llama with a lead you automatically have llamas follow it. So if we go through here, you're gonna see this llama will follow, a whole bunch of llamas will follow this guy. And you can slowly create a caravan of llamas as they realize that they're going. So that's a fun thing. It gets a little better as you go. Um, and yeah, you can pretty much have them follow each other. You notice how this guy's on board, that other one's on board. And yeah, so one lead will give you a nice caravan. You can literally carry a whole bunch of them in a row. Um, llamas will spit at other animals. It is a super kind of egregious... I don't even know if that's a word. Egregious, uh, egregious thing. Uh, and let's see. And then <laughs> the wolf's running. In addition to wolves being scared, that's why they're scared. Because this is kind of like a bomb attack. And, oh, he wants it, but he's scared. He's like, no, no, no. So long story short, llamas will spit. However, if you put, if there's too many mobs around, what will happen is they'll start spitting and hit each other. And once they do that, it turns into World War Six <laughs> because they start spitting at each other. You see, these ones want to fight each other right now. Look, this one just hit this one, and this one hit this one. And yeah, too many mobs around will result in mayhem. <laughs> and I think it's pretty funny. And it, oh, did you see that 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 360 no scope llama spit bomb right there? But you can see that they will hit each other and start spitting at each other when they get mad. But these wolves know better, and they're going to take off. Yeah, he's like, I'm out of here, Skippy. What the heck did you do? And uh, I think we pretty much got most of them. Another little known fact is that when llamas were going to come to the game. <clears throat> Jeb, famous uh, Minecraft programmer type guy, is, they were up in the air on the name, and I think uh, what they ended up doing was asking the community for to vote on whether they use the name Llama or Alpaca, and I think that the final vote was 58% Llama, 42% Alpaca. And I think we've mostly got everything that I think that I got for you on this one here. Also, I'm not sure if I can actually hear it, but in the old version at least, if you were to touch a llama with something that you wouldn't actually touch it with, so like say an egg, I think that it's going to make the noise. That one's tamed, so we can't do it. I think they're making that noise right there anyway. Oh no, he's going to start spitting at me. Oh well, I'm out of here. I think I gave you the full llama. Uh, the full llama story here anyway, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it man. That's a lot of info on the llama Hey, buddy. Hey, you want some eggs? Oh, no, don't spit at me. And yeah, there you go guys smash the like before you go Don't forget as well to subscribe for some more uh, Cool tutorials let's plays things like that and all kinds of stuff. These mansions are everywhere, man I don't know. I think they should make them a little more rare because every time I open a world It's like a mansion next to a mansion next to a mansion, but Thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash the like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more uh, tutorials, let's plays, all kinds of silly stuff. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.